Hey, what's happening guys? We're looking at another power station today. Uh, this one is from Oscal, a Chinese company. They are partnered with uh, Blackview, I think, that makes the uh, like the industrial type cellular phones. So they are a well-known company. Look at this, this is a very nice manual it comes with. Very cool. There we go. A little focusing going on there. So this is the Power Max 700, and it's one of these really nice portable power stations, solar generators, whatever you want to call them. Basically, what you got here is a big, heavy box full of batteries with some circuitry to provide different outputs and control the charging. They are incredibly useful. As you know, I've gone through many of these guys, and I love them. I think um, if you're an outdoor person, like a camper or whatnot... They're fantastic to have on hand, and even if you're not a camper, well, they're fantastic to have on hand if your power ever goes out, because, you know, they mostly have an AC output. I mean, if they didn't have an AC output, I wouldn't buy one that didn't. That's kind of the beauty of them. This one is really nice. Very nicely done um, buttons here. I think, I'm not a car guy, but I believe... That's called engine turning on those buttons. So they're looking pretty cool. Turn this guy on here. It's been off for a while. And you can see I have a nice and fully charged. It's telling us over here we have 99 hours. We're at 100%. No input and no output. So that's our main screen. That's our, uh, our interface with the device. Now, of course, anything these days, you know, comes with an LED light. There we go. On. Off. Have any other features? Yep. They always do. <laughs> but that's useful, you know, especially if your power's out or, like I said, if you were camping, that's a very cool thing to have. Okay, some specifications on, a un on the unit once again. Uh, we have AC outputs. We have two AC 110 volts, 60 hertz outputs rated at 700 watts. And they're right here on the side. We'll take a look at them here in a little bit. And you see you can turn them on right here. And if you look back whoops, on the front of the unit, you can see we have our AC uh, outlet indicator at 60 hertz. I also have the DC on, so you can see there it says car. We have USB. I guess that's supposed to look like a little USB thing there. So we have a, a Type 1 uh, USB-C output, 15 uh, volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, 5 amps. We have a CPD3 output again. This one is uh, 9 volt, 3 amp, 12 volt, 5 amp, 15 volt, 2 amps. Then we have our USBs, uh, Type A's there. They are... A2 QC3 outputs, 5 volts, 4.5 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volts, 1.5 amp. The other one is 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 2 amp, 12 volt, 1.5. We also have the uh, the car adapter, cigarette lighter adapter, whatever you want to call it there. And it is DC 12 volt, 10 amp, 120 watt max out of that guy right there. Underneath of it, you see a couple of uh, DC barrel jacks right here and right here. Those are the DC5521 outputs. They're 12 volt, 5 amp. Wireless on top, yes. We've got some wireless um, charging up there. And uh, the wireless is 15 watt max. So a total DC output on this is 347 watts. Total output power of 800 watts. Uh, our input, now that's where we're getting pretty cool here. You'll notice we have DC input uh, 24 volt, 5 amp, 120 watt. That's right here. And then we have these uh, um, Anderson power pole connectors uh, that are for, for the solar. They are 12, 28 volts, 150 watts. And also, you can use this USB C port right here as a type uh, PD3 input 20 volts. 3.5 amps, 65 watt max. Now, you can take the USB-C and pair it up with the DC 
input here or with the uh, power poles, but you cannot pair these up because they go to the same place, basically, I guess is what I'm saying there. Uh, lifespan of the battery is supposed to be about 500 cycles. Uh, net weight on this thing is uh, 2 kilograms, and the battery design capacity is 666 watt hours. It's not bad. This integrated handle is very nice, except you can't sit anything on top of it. If you remember the All Powers video, where we looked at the All Powers one, the handle folded flat so you could sit things on top of it. But this design is very nice if you want to put your phone in there. Because that's pretty solid and nothing's going to come down and crush your phone. Now one thing to keep in mind if you're getting these things is that total power output in them. You know, 700 watts. 700 watts. And it's got a max surge, if we look here, total power output of 800 watts. And the reason I'm bringing this up is, you know I've gone through a whole bunch of these. And generally I give them to friends or family or sell them whatever. I'd given one to my friend Tim. And uh, he called me up about a week later and goes, hey man, I'm having problems with that. I said, well, okay, what's wrong? He goes, well, I plugged in my air compressor. And as soon as he said that, I mean, I, I knew it was wrong. He said, I plugged in my air compressor and it would just start up and immediately quit. And now the thing is blinking. I'm like, yeah, you've overloaded it. It's too much current. And then I had to explain to him about uh, inrush current because uh, Tim is like a mechanical genius. He can fix anything, but he doesn't know the theory behind it. He's just like a savant. So I explained the inrush current to him and he understood. So I'm telling you that. So you keep in mind, you know, you're not going to be able to plug a full-size air compressor in one of these things, and you're probably not going to be able to plug your hammer drill into it either. It's probably not going to run your Hilti, again, because of the inrush current. If you're unsure what that is, when you first power up an AC inductive device like a motor or something like that, and there's this big capacitor, run capacitors in there that have to be charged, so there's going to be an initial pow hit of current when those things get charged, and that's going to draw too much and tell these things that they are uh, overdrawn. Now, the nice thing about it is, is they have all kinds of protection built in. Over voltage, under voltage, over current, um, over temperature, under temperature. Now, here is uh, the error code page. And I just want to put this up here so that, you know, if you have one of these and you, you lose your manual, well, here's a reference. So, you see we have input over current, input under voltage, input under, oh, over voltage, under voltage. Overload protection of the entire unit, inverter over temperature, inverter low temperature, inverter overload. I'm not going to read all these, but you can see how many of these we have. This thing is watching everything that's going on internally. And it's like that to prevent you from having a problem. Very cool. Now, of course, this comes with a, a AC adapter slash charger here. This is the Oscal AC-DC adapter. Um, input 100 to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 2.5 amp. It's going to output 24 volts at 5 amp. That's a nice power pack. Uses one of these, I don't know what you call them, Sony Panasonic type plugs there. And then you have the big 5.21 uh, that'll go in there. So remember, this is larger than the standard 2.1 millimeter jack. So you, you do have to be careful about that. So it's very cool. I like it. I'd like to thank Oscal for sending that out to us. Beautiful unit. Here's the uh, information on the side there you can take a look at. Portable power station tells about all the uh, all the specs. Back. That is the AC side. Serial number on the bottom. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you like this, there'll be a link down below where you can grab one. That's it. I'm out. Peace.